This video is brought to you by my friends over at Dudario. Check out the link in the description and get your hands on the new Expand pedal board today. Hi everybody, Levi Clay here back again. This time we're doing a bit of a gear review. This video is brought to you by my friends over at Didario because they sent me their new oh, Expand pedal board in this case. I'm not gonna open it up and spoil the pedal layout for you, but I will take it out so you can see some of the uh, inner workings of this. And then we're gonna build the entire pedal board Look at that, an expanding pedal board, very cool. So I'm gonna build this pedal board for you. Stick around to the end, we will come back and I'll let you hear these pedals in action. Here we go. So here we have the expand pedal board. Nice quality box, let me just flip it over so you can see each side of it and then we will open it up and take a look inside. Now of course, I've sped all of this footage up. You don't wanna be here all day. Extremely well packaged product everything nicely laid out inside the box let's just pull that all out quickly for you have some screws there these are pedal dividers supports everything velcroed in place there is velcro supplied in the box for you to attach to your pedals almost there side panels moving everything out of the way okay let's put this bad boy together so lay everything out on your table set up your side panels and then you're going to screw those in place with the allen key provided a little bit of thumb screw in here there we go tighten 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 make sure they're nice and tight and don't drop your allen key like i'm about to okay nice and tight get that second support bar in place again nice and tight this should all make sense obvious stuff then what you have is a middle plate this is going to attach to those first beams but allow those telescopic parts to come out so by screwing it in place just like this this isn't going to move but those telescopic bars will pull out when you expand the pedal board so screw that in place like this but i can still pull out those middle bars we put the uh the extending end plate on screw that in place again nice and easy tighten it by hand there are some little foot adjustments, but there you go. Stretches out and you can lock it in place. You can lock it in place at its smallest size or absolutely anywhere. Expand it, lock it in place here. This is obviously where I'm gonna be using it and it fits very nicely in the case. Great case with space in there, uh, with a divider actually, so you can have it however you need it to be. Now for me, that's not the most impressive part. The most impressive part of this whole setup was the uh, solderless cables now i don't know about you guys but i hate the idea of solderless cables i used solderless cables on my last pedal board and they did not work it was a nightmare getting them to work these were effortless in fact i said to melissa when i was putting this all together i wired everything up and i said i'm going to plug this in now it's not going to work though because these cables never work and she said but what if it does and i said don't be ridiculous that won't happen and it worked first time so very very easy you are just screwing the cable into the head and there's a little pin in the end that cuts down into the cable giving it a good solid connection and then you tighten in the screws this means with the supplied cable cutter you can cut your cables just like that to the exact length that you need them to be nice tidy cables no excess cable absolutely flawless they work perfectly uh, in fact i miscut these a few times and had to uh, take the cable out and put the head on again after cutting the cable to a different length and had absolutely no problems with connections they worked absolutely fine so let's keep that going and now i'm just going to go through my entire board now you'll see at the end that my pedals are in the wrong order of course you want your auto wire which is my uh <laughs> you can see it there towards the end you want that before your overdrive because it's really a dynamic effect not a modulation effect uh great pedals here though that's my uh my rev tilt great overdrive pedal and next to it is the uh, fender pinwheel i absolutely love that pedal i cannot put into words how much i love that it does a, a leslie sound and then of course there is my uh, exotic robotalk auto wah there's my wampler uh that's my reverb pedal absolutely love that never go anywhere without that reverb pedal and on the end i've got a, a tc electronic delay pedal which uh, rarely gets used very rarely gets used and yeah eventually you'll kind of get there and the problem with pedal boards is you do have to fiddle around and get the layouts right based on where the input and output jacks are on pedals that can be a bit of a pain 
Uh, but you'll get there in the end. And uh, yeah, then as I say, Velcro is all supplied. I also managed to Velcro a power supply to the bottom of the pedal board. Here it is inside the case. Look at this, perfection, incredibly easy to take to a gig with the pedals all in the right order now. <laughs> uh, effortless, just incredibly effective tool. I absolutely love it. Bravo, Didario. Ta-da! And here it is. So here is my current pedal board. Wonderful. Um, thank you very much to the guys over at Didario for this. Uh, you, I didn't show it in the video, but you can see there's Velcro on the bottom and I Velcroed power supply stuff on there. So everything's cabled up very nicely. Um, yeah, this is rock solid. I love it very much. And uh, yeah, I'm going to lay it down on my uh, desk now. And I'm going to give you some sound clips so you can hear what this thing does. Okay, so let's quickly run through this pedal board. As you can see on the far right, we have the Dodario tuner does the job. Next up, we have the exotic RoboTalk. This is my auto wah. Then we have the Rev Tilt Overdrive. Wonderful overdrive pedal. You see that in a second. Then the Fender Pinwheel. That's my Leslie sound. We have a TT Electronics flashback, which I use for delay occasionally. And then the Fender, sorry, not Fender, the Wampler uh, Faux Spring Reverb. Now, the reverb pedal is just about always on, depending on the size of the venue. If I'm in a really big venue, that comes off. But I like some ambiance to my tone. <laughs> We'll leave that on. <laughs> Next up, uh, the tuner. So nice new tuner from Didario. Nice big display on it. You can obviously adjust things like the uh, um, the tuning reference. So if you don't want it to be A44, it has some other features like a, a countdown timer for stage times and things like that. I just like the fact that it's got a buffered um, signal in it. So occasionally I'd use, I'll use an ABY splitter and I need to boost my signal so I don't have a, a loss of high end when I come out of one of those outputs. So this does that job. Very good. Next up is the exotic RoboTalk. As I say, this is my auto wah sound. I use this for rhythm guitar parts uh, on funky things. <laughs> totally use it for some lead stuff though it's kind of fun and there is a second auto wah setting on there that i'll use for some more extreme sounds have the uh, rev tilt overdrive great pedal great pedal on the right hand side there's a boost with the tilt eq i can adjust how much of the tone changes when i do that so i currently have it set to have a little bit of a bass kick but we could have a, a, a kind of a bass cut sound Does the job, and then on the uh, left-hand side is the traditional overdrive.
you can press that left hand button and hold it on and both sides come on. Next up is my Fender Pinwheel. I use this as my Leslie sound because I, I do a lot of that because I play the Hammond organ now. I'm used to that sound. I love it. I really like that and I can change the speed of the Leslie by pressing the second button. I really like that as a kind of pad sound um, when I don't want to be playing funky rhythm if I play. lots of controls that you can adjust and that you get lots of different sounds but those are my primary sounds on there i just like being able to change the speed of that leslie and controlling how quick or how slow it changes it's there's something really magical about playing a chord and having that when you press that second button for it to not immediately change speed but for it to slow down <laughs> And then finally, flashback for a little bit of ambience if I need it. I might pair that up with an overdrive. Totally does the job. <laughs> and then I guess overdrive with Leslie. And there we have it.